33 Best Plants for a Rock Garden Yellow alyssum is a low-growing, spreading plant that puts out clusters of small yellow flowers in April to May. It thrives in poor soil and is considered a drought-tolerant plant. The purple ice plant is often used as a spreading ground cover, and it can flower all summer long. The plant is tolerant of heat and drought, though it will die if it does not have good drainage. Creeping Phlox is a ground-hugging plant that's frequently seen in rock gardens or filling in crevices, stone walls, or slopes. It grows well in sandy or gravelly soil and can tolerate heat and drought better than some of the other phlox species. Pasque Flower is a low-growing, clump-forming plant. It is an early bloomer in the spring, bringing color to the landscape. It prefers a well-draining sandy or humusy soil and can handle light shade. Reticulated iris is another early bloomer in the spring. As it's a small flower, growing only about 6 inches tall, it's best planted in masses to maximize visual impact. Moreover, it's important that the bulbs rest in fairly dry soil during their summer dormancy, making the plant ideal for a well-draining rock garden. With its purple-tinged foliage, wood spurge can make a colorful impact in a rock garden. The plant is tolerant of poor soil but needs sharp drainage. It can handle some shade, especially in the afternoon, but too much shade can cause the plant to lose its shape. Moonbeam Coreopsis is a perennial flower from the aster family. It thrives in poor sandy or rocky soil, and it can tolerate some drought, heat, and humidity. It's popular as a border planting, but its growing requirements also make it a prime candidate for a rock garden. With its aromatic foliage and pretty blooms, lavender is popular and versatile in the garden. Use the plant in a rock garden, herb garden, or even as edging or a low hedge. It prefers light, somewhat infertile soil with good drainage. A flowering perennial, yarrow is popular as an edging plant or in a rock garden. It grows well in average garden soil but can tolerate poor soil and drought. The plant can be an aggressive spreader, so it's best in a contained area. Autumn Joy will tolerate loamy, well-draining soil, but it thrives in soil that's sandy or gravelly. The plant doesn't need much water and has excellent drought tolerance. It grows to about 2 feet tall and produces tiny flowers that go from pinkish to reddish in the fall. Spiked Speedwell is a compact perennial flower that's good for rock gardens, foundation plantings, flower beds, borders, and more. The plant grows best with regular moisture and good drainage, but it does not like soggy soil. Columbine is a perennial wildflower with many cultivars. Its flowers, which attract hummingbirds, are a fascinating shape said to resemble a jester's cap. Once established, columbine is drought-tolerant, making it a suitable rock garden plant. Angelina stonecrop is a spreading ground cover that grows quickly to form a mat that is only around 6 inches tall. The more sun the plant gets, the more golden its foliage turns. It produces small, star-shaped yellow blooms in early to midsummer. The coneflower is a daisy-like perennial that is hardy and long-blooming. It's adaptable to many growing conditions, including sandy, rocky, and clay soils. The plant is drought-tolerant, though it prefers some moisture in the soil. Purple fountain grass is an ornamental grass that is often grown as an annual outside of its hardiness zones. It grows best in full sun but can tolerate a little shade. Gardeners use purple fountain grass both as a standalone specimen plant, as well as in groupings for greater impact. Blue Rug Juniper is a ground-hugging needle evergreen known for its green to blue-green foliage. It thrives on sunny slopes and prefers fast drainage. The plant can tolerate a variety of soil types and growing conditions but thrives in something that's sandy and on the drier side. The Shasta Daisy is a low-maintenance perennial flower. It blooms for most of the summer, adding appeal to borders, gardens, and containers. The plant tolerates a little shade in hot conditions, but wet soil can kill it. Black-Eyed Susan is a daisy-like perennial flower. 
It grows best in moist, organically rich soil but tolerates most conditions as long as it has good drainage. Because it blooms in its first season when planted from seed, the plant is often grown as an annual outside of its hardiness zones. Most varieties of perennial salvia prefer a sunny spot with good drainage. They can tolerate many soil types, including the conditions of a rock garden. As a bonus, salvia's colorful flowers tend to attract many pollinators. Six Hills Giant is a perfect rock garden plant, as it craves well-draining soil and tolerates dry areas. It grows to about 3 feet tall with a spread of roughly 4 feet. But the plant doesn't care for high heat and humidity, so it might need some afternoon shade in warmer climates. Russian sage has a delicate appearance, but it still offers some height at around 3 to 5 feet. The plant has excellent drought tolerance, and it flowers best in full sun. As a member of the mint family, Russian sage spreads by runners. Pull up suckers early in the spring from areas where you don't want it. Muggo pine is a spreading evergreen shrub that grows to around 15 to 20 feet tall and 25 to 30 feet wide. It likes well-draining, sandy soil, and it can even somewhat tolerate clay. A young plant needs regular watering, but once mature it is moderately drought-tolerant. Roxbray Cotton Easter is a flowering deciduous shrub with reddish leaves and bright red berries. It's a hardy plant that can tolerate poor soil conditions. Once established, it even can handle some drought. Some small rock garden plants are creepers, including dragon's blood stone crop. This plant can tolerate some drought, as well as shallow, rocky soil. Butterflies tend to like its tiny pinkish-red flowers. Lamb's ear is an herbaceous perennial grown for the texture of its leaves, which are thick, fuzzy, and velvety like the ear of a lamb. The plant is often used as a flower border. Plus, its tolerance for drought and poor soil makes it a good rock garden plant. Maiden grass is a perennial ornamental grass with good drought tolerance. The clump forming grass can reach around 4 to 7 feet tall and 3 to 6 feet wide, providing height and texture to a garden. Rugosa rose is a sprawling, thorny, flowering shrub. It prefers a loamy soil but can adapt to clay, sandy, or gravelly varieties. Good air circulation and avoiding wet soil are key for the plant to remain healthy. Hens and Chicks is a mat-forming succulent that produces rosette clusters. The parent rosettes are called the hens, and the smaller rosettes that offshoot from them are the chicks. The plant grows well in rock gardens, as well as in stone walls or between garden stepping stones. Creeping thyme is aromatic like the edible herb, but it's mainly grown as a ground cover or to fill in space between stepping stones. The plant will cascade over rocks and low stone walls in a rock garden to soften the setting. It readily grows in nutrient-poor soil as long as it has good drainage. Blue fescue is an ornamental grass grown for its blue-tinted foliage and yellowish-green flowers. It produces its best foliage in full sun but can tolerate a little shade, too. The plant grows to a height and spread of about a foot. Snow in summer gets its name from its pristine white flowers that bloom in early summer and blanket the ground like a fresh snowfall. The plant is low-growing and can thrive in poor rocky or sandy soil, though it must have good drainage. Candy tuft, with its showy flowers that bloom in mid-spring, is commonly used in rock gardens or as edging. Although its petals form a pretty pattern, the flowers tend to have a rather unpleasant aroma. Still, this plant is tolerant of drought and can even handle being grown in a little shade. Ajuga is a rapidly spreading, mat-forming ground cover, and it can become invasive under optimal growing conditions. On the plus side, it can fill in somewhat shady areas where other plants won't grow. Avoid planting ajuga next to lawns where it can spread. Instead, keep the plant contained in a rock garden or even a pot. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.